as you know, I have an affinity for Tudor Doctor, and with me now is one of their specialists. Her name is Jessica Bush, and she's a franchisee owner. Welcome to our show. Welcome, thank you. How are you? Good. Good. Um, welcome nice back, back, actually, right? Nice to be back. Yeah, we had such a lovely visit last time you were here. Thank and you. I like your purple bling, I mean, because it goes with the whole logo. I am a purple person, too, just naturally. Really? So you're born that works. way? Yeah. <laughs> now, in your opinion, what makes Tudor Doctor different than the rest? I think what makes us different is, for me, anyway, in my business, is our personal approach to the families and to the, and to the students. Uh, I think one of the most important things for me is to really find out what's going on with the family and the students so that we can best help them and, and find a tutor that me meets their needs and is that sort of magical match. Now you have a background that sets you up perfectly for this. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I actually am in sa was in sales and sales management for almost 30 years and I have sold art uh, in all different capacities. So uh, to to find a buyer that has a passion for the art that they're buying was always the most important thing to me. And I feel that my kind of intuitive working with customers to find the perfect piece of art is similar to finding the perfect tutor match for the student. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, not just academics, uh, you have to really match a student with a person that can be more than an academic tutor that can become a coach and a mentor to that person. So it's very personal and it's it's a passion. And how do you help each person set up their own goals so that you have a measurable success for them? What I usually do is I spend a lot of time with the student themselves and I think that that's really important. It's not just to talk to the parent but to really try to find out what the student is struggling with. Uh, what's happened to them in the past year. I try to go back and not just talk about the here and now. And I really try to go back and say what happened last year? You know, how, was, how did last year go? Uh, and then they sort of get into telling me their story, which I think is really important, for me anyway, is to find out what happened to them to really help determine what their needs are now. You know, if they struggled, I had a student the other day who last year, she's, she's a, a sophomore in high school. Last year, for some reason, and the doctors couldn't find out why, she lost her eyesight. Hmm. They couldn't figure it out. I, you know, I have my opinions of what I think, you know, a lot of it, there's so much stress related stuff on the high school kids right now. She lost her eyesight and slowly it came back. But those months that she didn't have her eyesight, her parents had to pretty much read her lessons to her and help her. This is in high school, so it's a challenge. Slowly her eyesight came back. Right after that, she had an incident happen in gym class where, and she had a double concussion. So a lot of things were working against her and that's, it helped her, her confidence went down. She didn't feel as secure in her studies. And this was a top student. You know, but because of medical setbacks for whatever reason, you have to figure out why they are where they are at now. There's always a reason, you know. And if I hadn't have learned about that, I could never sort of know that about her and be sensitive to where her, what her needs are now and set her goals. And I think that is what makes you different because you take it so personally. I really do. It's really personal to me. And we're going to spend a little time together doing a little educational tip. Okay. Uh, so stay tuned uh, for more on this wonderful look at Jessica Bush and her fabulous Tudor Doctor experience. With us now is Jessica Bush, and she's here with her Tudor Doctor tip. Welcome. Hi, Donna. Nice now, to see you. Nice to see you, too. And we are going to be talking about planning and not cramming. Exactly. You mean planning your actual study time? When a student gets an information on a test or a quiz, what I see happening a lot out there is that they procrastinate and they wait to the very last minute and then they study instead of creating study sheets, study guides, and strategizing how to study. And then when you cram, it doesn't work. Your brain short circuits and you forget everything. That makes sense to me. Now, did you find um, things in your own path and your own past that helped you become who you are today? Now, were you a crammer early on and did it like bite you in the hiney? I or? actually was not a crammer okay. early on. Um, I was one of those types of people in college. I never pulled an all-nighter, ever. 
Um, so I, I learned that you have to pace yourself and you have to you know, strategize your time so that you had the energy to do everything you had to do and your brain wouldn't short circuit. And so that's part of my passion of what I'm trying to help all the students with, especially high school students, I see that a lot happening. Do you think students, because they are so busy in today's society, they have to leave something to the last minute because there's so many demands on their time? I think that's part of their frustration. I was with a student last night, a girl, high school girl, who that's, she said, how do I fit it all in? How do I do it all? You know, how do I do hours and hours and hours of homework and then try to fit in studying at the same time? It is extremely challenging. So that's why some of our tutors help with that as well. And what's one way that they could actually make a plan? Would you consider like writing it down and stick it in on the fridge or yes, how do you implement that plan? A lot plan? of students have a planner. Um, either they're given to it in school, like in middle school, or they create their own and to literally work on that planner every day and to work with their tutor with the planner so that maybe at the beginning of the week they literally strategize what they're going to do and how they're going to do it every single day. So a planner is really helpful. I also think planning a little fun break in there sometimes helps too. They Plan have to your have fun. A, they have to have a break. They have to give themselves time to just sort of decompress and chill. But don't get too distracted. That's, that's the problem with, especially with the teens today, is they cannot lose focus completely or else they're just going to not do it. Well, they just need to time it. Exactly. Right? Five minutes, 10 and minutes, And maybe put their minutes. cell phone in another room. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm actually trying to implement that with some of my students right now is don't bring your cell phone to the session. Leave it in the, on the kitchen table or leave it in another room so that you're not distracted by all the texts coming in and you're not prompted to text because it's very distracting. Great tips as always, Jessica. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So for more about Tutor Doctor, you can go to our website, liveituptvshow.com, and simply go to our education page because you're going to be getting great tips from Tutor Doctor.